show you guys some of my flattery options. Today I'll be showing you guys how I make my sticker sheets at home using my Silhouette Portrait 4. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing you guys how to add the white bleed line around the actual stickers itself so that the purple backing doesn't bleed into the actual sticker and makes the cut look a lot more crisp and nicer, which is something like this. I'm going to create a new layer and click the actual layer that has all of your stickers on there, which is this layer. And then we're going to select all of the layer. We're going to click on feather. I do about 5%, but it really depends on how big your illustrations are or how thick you want the outlines to be. So I do about 5%. And then I go back to the layer that we just created. You fill that layer with white. You will duplicate this. I duplicate this about four times and then I flatten it or I merge it. Do it one more time and another time. And you see how it creates like a really big border around the white sticker. And I'm not too fond of that look. And make sure you have this layer selected, okay? And now you're gonna use your select tool again and click outside of the border. And so it creates like sharper lines where the outline is. You're gonna go to the tool, to the wrench on the top left, go to add, and then cut. And so you get a much crisper line versus the really blurry outline from before. And make sure this outline is actually on the backing when you save this image. So this is going to be separate from the actual stickers. So for example, when you save it, you're going to save this image on its own as a PNG, and then this image on its own as a PNG. The middle one, we'll do the bakery one first. So my sticker sheets are about 4 by 6 so we're just going to try to align this first. I'm going to color the, the backing a different color, resize them to 4 by 6 and then rotate it by 90 degrees so I can fit it in the page. And then we'll do the same for the Moonlit Witch one. And just like before, we're going to align it to the cut line, make sure there's like enough space around it so that when it cuts, there's no purple getting onto the sticker itself. There you go. So you can also use like these to center them and make it easier for yourself to align it. And I'll do the same thing, change the color of the outline of the backing so that it's cut deeper. Make sure to use the same color so it'll be easier to change the settings for that. Group it, change the size, and then rotate the object. Okay, now it's ready to be printed out. So I'll be using a sticker sheet that I got from Amazon. I'll have the link down on the description. But I really like this one only because it's very thick. So then when it, you print it out and cut it into that 4x6, it can hold itself up. But not all sticker sheets are like that. Some sticker sheets can be a little bit kind of thin and flimsy. So I really like this one. And make sure you print on the right side. So for the print setting, hold on preferences. I'll be using uh, the photo matte the matte photo paper for the media type, as well as on print quality high, just so I can really get a really crisp print. And we're gonna press OK and then print. So this is how it ends up looking like on this paper. It's very nice and crisp, very saturated, which I really like. It looks really pretty. So at this point, it's completely up to your preferences. You can add like a holographic laminate 
or you can also use just a clear glossy laminate or even like a matte one just to add more protection i am also using a waterproof vinyl sticker paper and when you wash it wash it with some water with just the paper itself ink doesn't run at all which i found really nice but the only thing is that it's not very scratch resistant so when you start scratching the paper itself the ink can rub off okay it's now on the mat itself my mat is kind of getting old so it's not as sticky as it used to be anymore i did grab some new ones off of amazon which is a lot cheaper than the silhouette brand itself um but i didn't want to use it right away only because it's gonna be really really sticky and it might just ruin the sticker paper and i need it to have like a little bit of some wear before i use it and you can use like you know your the sweater to sort of put it on the sticky parts and make sure that it's not as sticky but yeah this one is ready to be cut as for the cut settings we turn the the backing paper into a purple outline which is this one and we're gonna use a the laser king die cut setting and the red one's gonna be the kiss cut one i made up this setting based on many tests and depending on the sticker paper that you get it's gonna be different for everybody as well as the dullness of your blades you might have to adjust those settings depending And so now the cutting is done. There's a little bit of like some paper dust. I don't know if they can- oh, there we go, yeah. There's like some paper dust from the cutting and this is because maybe the blade is dull or maybe it's going- it's cutting a little bit too fast or it's not like the most accurate settings ever. Whatever the case is, I just use this chip brush that I got from Michaels and I just kind of just dust it off like um, a dust broom. Like a broom, yeah. And you can peel it off, and then this is the sticker sheet right here. And this is what it looks like. It looks so pretty, so neat and sharp with the colors it looks like some of the cut lines might be a little bit messed up with the baking sheet one i'm not entirely sure if that was like my error or if it's recalibration on my portrait but i also like to just use a a quarter cutter and make it kind of rounded This is how they turned out. These are the sticker sheets that we just made. They're very nice and crisp. The rounded corners makes it look a lot softer as well. And these are the stickers and some extra stickers that I made off of screen. This one is Fran and Bubby holding the new jeans light stick. I can't afford new jeans light stick, so I just made this for myself. And then we have more. Of Bobby right here with the finger hearts as well as looking fabulous right here we have Haku from Spirited Away my two fruit buddies and then the egg headed sticker and all of these stickers are going to be available in my Etsy shop, which is linked down in the description. Okay, thank you for watching!